Nigerian government laments children's use as street hawkers, beggars in Gombe, Ikiti, Kaduna, and others. The Nigerian government has expressed worry over the vulnerable and out-of-school children in the country, saying they are being used as street hawkers and beggars. Mrs. Miriam, wise special advisor to the President Buhari on social protection plan, stated this in Abuja Wednesday while identifying Gombe, Ekiti, Kaduna, Sokoto, and Bono State as places her team had visited for sensitization on the menace. She added that efforts are ongoing to sensitize women and non-formal education tutors in other endemic places on the dangers of using your children as street hawkers and beggars. Wise appealed for support from the National Youth Service Corps to provide soccer for the vulnerable and out-of-school children in the country. While meeting with the NYSC Director General General Shuaibu Ibrahim at the NYC headquarters in Abuja, she said, our, com- our committee is saddled with the responsibility of taking school-age children off the streets, thereby adding value to their lives. We have visited Gombe, Ikiti, Kaduna, Sokoto, and Bono states, and efforts are ongoing to sensitize women and non-formal education tutors on the dangers of using your children as street hawkers and beggars in other places. We want to add value as we are looking at agriculture, malnutrition, digital skills, entrepreneurship, sports, addressing trauma, co- addressing trauma, curbing violence, and addressing special needs. We also want to engage the mothers to learn nutrition, good hygiene, and also bring their children for birth registration vaccination among others the nysc director general ibrahim in his response said cops cops members are full of potential that can be harnessed for national development he stated that their participation in national assignments is an attestation to the fact that if given a conducive environment they would render surface services to the development of the country i mean the sentence here says, if given a conducive environment, well, the environment is obviously not conducive. And so when it comes to what they can and can't do, we use the word potential, which again is inefficient. It's not saying anything. Um, I am very, very happy, to be honest, that, you know, the um, the Nigerian government is obviously you know, trying to get children off the streets and make them busy. And they've understood that you don't just send children off the street. There are problems for this and, you know, how to use their time, especially as, you know, it was stated that, you know, agriculture and other ways would be used. But until this starts, this is just documented and that's just what it is. And we are used to the Nigerian government saying things, but they never do it. So, yes, they know what to do on paper. They will put it on paper because, again, you know, yeah, looking at agriculture, digital skills, entrepreneurship, sports, addressing trauma, which is very, very big, and also curbing violence and addressing special needs, for example, people with disabilities and all that. So, yes, it is good, but what is the likelihood that this will be put into fruition? I think it's highly unlikely. Again, it's a distraction and it's 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 a tactic that, you know what, well, we know that the government has been inefficient especially when they say they do certain things and they never do it so someone here says when the government is making life unbearable for the people you do not expect anything less than this government is culpable hmm. somebody says do we have leaders in nigeria see our children graduates and mothers on the street um yeah i believe that this this eradication of you know people on the children specifically on the street is going to be very very hard because it's the, they've postponed this for too long it's it it seems as though it has been an intentional move for the leaders to basically break the country down because again you a country doesn't get to a state where like nigeria in just one day this is years and years of accumulated neglect on the children and neglect in infrastructure neglect in building of jobs neglect in making standards or you know raising the standard of living in the country neglect in investment in education and healthcare, neglect in so many things. 
it doesn't just happen in one day. What we're seeing now, it would not, in the same way it took a long time, a very, couple of years, several years to get to this point, it will also take several years to get us at this point. Why? Because it's not only the physical act of removing people or eradicating children from the streets or, you know, especially as beggars or, or hawkers, but it's the mentality behind it. You take them out of the street, but what if it's what they're used to and that's their that's their definition of hustling or making a living. So it's a lot. And so again, they they it's good that they identify that it is their responsibility, but they don't understand how much of a responsibility it is. If they had just invested in infrastructure and all these things from the beginning, we would not get to this this place where Niger the situation has worsened so so bad. So Again, this is all letters. What can you really do? These people talk all the time until they come and prove to us why or how they are going to, you know, eradicate, you know, children being used as beggars on the streets. There's nothing else that they can do and there's nothing else for Nigerians to be invested in as much. It just is what it is. Someone here says, too bad. Are those ruling us humans? What is the meaning of governance if some of your citizens are living at subhuman levels? It's not even subhuman levels. They're living like slaves because you literally have no rights. What are the benefits? Again, if you do not have money or anything, why can't it, why isn't it easy for you know people to have access to the government and ask for grants, for loans, for help? There are no government houses, council houses. There aren't anything that that's that's like that, and so. Again, it just is what it is. It's as sad, but it is what it is. Someone here says, so it is only the bad condition to lament for in Nigeria when people in every part of the country are dying daily. Shame to this government. I mean, it's uh, it's sad. It's very, very sad. But it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, These are something that it is the Nigerian government's responsibility and responsibility only. And it was the responsibility of the people for being too quiet for too long. It's a different thing when you are le- you're letting somebody violate your human right. Of course, they would worsen the situation. And of course, our continued silence is so deafening that we are enabling the government or our past generations have enabled the government to continue with the mistreatment of its citizens. And so it's 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 come to this point where we've been we've we've been an enabling factor to why nigeria it is what it is today and we cannot be surprised responsibility does really go on both parts but again on paper by the law the responsibility lies on the government to take action put what you think about this in the comment section below do you believe that they, they will actually you know go with their plan and do not forget to like and subscribe